that strike zone, baby. Oh yeah. Tricky. Yo, what's up dickheads, if you guys saw in my last video, y'all saw that I have a bird problem at my front door, they're nesting in the top right hand corner, man, just a lot of mud, a lot of grass, shitting everywhere, I tried to evict them two days ago, pressure washed it, got it all nice and clean, and then less than 24 hours later, they decided to kick it into overdrive, they worked over fucking time, and shit even more. I swear to God, they went to Walmart, got some laxatives, and started shitting everywhere. And, you know, they must have recruited like three, four more birds to come out there because, man, they're putting up that nest quickly. Real quick, like. So, they need to leave. And I've tried a bunch of stuff. I tried to put a fake owl up there, um, tried to put some bird repellent spray. They don't give a fuck, man. They're just, they think that this is their house. I'm gonna show them that it's not. So, I thought to myself, what would be best? What's the best solution for the fucking birds to fucking kill them? So, I went out to the pawn shop. Obviously, I got a lot of guns. All the common handgun calibers, plus a, uh, an AR-style rifle, if you will. But, um, I didn't want to use a real gun. I'm shooting at my house and, you know, in, in my neighborhood and whatnot, so... I went out and bought a pellet gun. So this is what I got. Uh, bought this pellet gun here. This is a uh, Gamo uh, Raptor Whisper. Raptor Whisper shoots at a thousand uh, feet per second in a 22 caliber pellet. And today I'll be shooting some Gamo Red Fire. 22 caliber pellets um, and so today what I'm gonna do is show you how to zero a fucking scope because who knows what dickhead was using this and um, how he you know how he set up his scope and whatnot and obviously everything's gonna be different you always want zero scope before you shoot it zero it to you and how you hold the rifle you know a lot of things come to place uh, cheek weld eye relief yada 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 we can talk about that at a later date but so I got a zero on my rifle here. If you can see all the way down there, I got a fucking box. It's that same box that I used, uh, the same box that that mystery box came in, the fucking undelivered mail. So uh, I got that on there. I don't know if you can see it, but I drew like a fucking circle and a dot in the middle with a Sharpie. I'm just gonna shoot at the dot and we're gonna see what we get. Uh, so basically uh, we gotta set up this scope uh, so that I don't miss set up this optic so that I don't miss and like shoot shit in my house. So uh, this scope That came with it has uh, a quarter inch minute of angle at a hundred yards meaning one click uh, for windage and Elevation is a quarter of an inch at a hundred yards. So if you just look up a chart you get your um, What the minute of angle is for the optic and you can zero at 25 yards. So I just walked out, you know, 25 paces, and the math works out to at 25 yards, um, one click is going to be one sixteenth of an inch. So basically, we're going to shoot at the dot. Depending, I'm going to shoot a five shot group, I mean, depending on where they land, what my group looks like, and where it needs to move towards that dot. Uh, we'll make the adjustments then. Each click is going to be a sixteenth of an inch, so uh, at 25 yards. So let's go ahead and get it. This is also a gas piston one pump uh, pellet gun. So we're going to see what's up with it. Straight from the pawn shop. Oh shit! Oh shit! Soundtrack to my life. Like a sixth sense since my father died. I ain't been right since. Whenever you zero a rifle, you want to be as stable as possible. So usually when I do this, I'm in the prone position, but I don't feel like proning. So we got a fucking a sawhorse here, sitting on a lawn chair. 
Got camera set up on a fucking three-legged stool. Gotta use that to range and shit. Got my eye protection. Shouldn't need any ear protection. Just shouldn't be too loud. It's the Raptor Whisper Quiet. It's gonna be Whisper Quiet. Ah, oh, we'll see. So this rifle, you go ahead and cock it back like this. Boom. Hit that click. I'm going to insert my round. Me. Alright, rounds are hot. Yeah, see that just fine. And on this thing, uh, back, safe, forward, on kill. But if you're anything like me, you'll need a fucking safety. This is your fucking safety. Fuck was that? Yeah, people are fucking shooting real guns in the backyard around here. Shooting a pellet gun. Let's see here. I can already see where it's shooting. That fucking went straight through and hit the fence. So, I am going to put something in the back of my, or I'm gonna put something in the cardboard box so it doesn't hit the fence. If I grab like a, a fucking pillow or something, I'll be right back. All right, my wind adjustment was pretty good. So the box moved very slightly, so I went to go grab a, uh, a bag of sand, a bag of sand, um, hold it down a little bit, so uh, left over, like, molding sand for gardens and shit, like, it, it holds, like, uh, the bricks in place, uh, pavers, pavers, uh, so, and then I put two pillows in the back right there to try to absorb the impact, so it doesn't go straight through the fucking defense here, so, that was a pretty decent shot. Like I said, the wind adjustment looks good. I'm about two inches uh, below the dot. However, you want to be as consistent as possible. So even though I know I'm two inches low, we're gonna keep putting the center of the reticle right on the center of the dot to ensure that we have a uh, consistent shot group. So I'm gonna shoot five, shoot three, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Four. This thing's pretty fucking sick, dude. I had a pellet gun back in the day. Just a, a pump action pellet gun, one of the ones. One of them days is you gotta pump like 60 fucking times for it to go anywhere. Man, I used to call the goddamn ruckus with that fucking pellet gun. I would just, it was a BB slash pellet gun. This is uh, pellet gun only. Uh, no BBs in here. One shot, one fucking kill, motherfucker. Let's go take a look at our shot groups. I'm over the trips to Florida, order the orders. I don't know, I'm your favorite author. Man, no, I get so breezy. Damn, why can't life always be this easy? Alright. Look at that shot group. Did I only shoot four? Maybe I only shot four. Unless I fucking way whiffed one. Alright, you see what I'm talking about here? Just I'm just shooting at this dot right here. Um, maybe I shot four, maybe I shot five and totally missed one. I don't know. I suck, I guess. But this was my first shot right here, about uh, an inch or two down. So I really only need to move up, what? I'll bring it up an inch first. Eh. I'll bring it up an inch. 
So I'm going to bring this up an inch so you see how our windage is good. Windage is left to right, elevation up and down. So we just need to bring it up. We don't really need to move left to right. So basically, remember, so I got to move it up an inch. So since it's a quarter inch minute of angle at 100 yards, it's going to be 1 16th of an inch at 25. So got to do some math here. You're basically just going to do how much ever you want it to move, which is I want it to move one inch. We're going to divide that by 1 16th. And that is how many clicks I need to uh, bring up the rifle. So, but here we go. So, typically on a rifle, when you're trying to move the reticle, uh, your windage, so your left and right, is going to be on the right side, which I don't need to change right now. So, we are going to cap that up. And also, if you, you got to make sure that your optic is where you want it for when you set the proper amount of eye relief that is specific to you. Um, and anytime you move that uh, scope, the optic, let's say if I wanted, let's say if I didn't like this eye relief and I wanted to put it up more forward, basically you would need to do a new zero because your eye relief changes which is also going to change your sight picture sight alignment and all that shit so and your cheek weld and whatnot so i need to move up 16 clicks so we're gonna do up is counterclockwise i should have god damn i gotta mark those shots Make sure you mark your shots so you know what fucking hole the new ones are. I kind of remember they were all straight in line, but I'm going to Shout out Lomax G5. Streaming on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Low Max and Five, check them out. Yeah, it ain't gotta be that serious, man. Like I said, as long as you got a decent shot food, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna hit your target. You have to think about it like if you go for a headshot, if you got a fucking, if you're shooting at like, let's say, a pumpkin. Right? Or a little melon, a cantaloupe, the size of a, you know, a head. You got, you got fucking, however much this space is of, of error. So as long as you got a good, like, inch shot group or something like a uh, half dollar shot group, you're gonna hit. Ain't gotta be perfect, man. I ain't, I ain't Chris Kyle, man. I'm just some brand fucking dude, man. Right in the black. See now, now if I wanted to shoot this at 100 yards, you should probably be would again at 100. So usually if you do that at 100, you're gonna be good for the 25. But for some reason why it doesn't really work that way, stepping back for the most part so if you do your zero at 25 and you have the space to shoot at 100 your zero is going to be paper at 100 yards so all you gotta do is make the adjustments you can either make the adjustments on the optic or you can adjust your hold and the hold is just where you put your reticle at on whatever target that you're looking for so let's say if I was with my first shot group and you know how it was all a little low about a half inch to an inch low what you could do is just uh, get a different hold and just hold above the point at which you were um, aiming at in the first in the first place so I would just move the reticle like half inch to an inch up 
and that will get me more towards the dot so that's what a hold is but I want to be I want this to be right on the fucking bird the rather right on the bird's head when I take its life these birds are gonna fucking die all right we're good now good shot group I only got like an inch of error. This is from the back, blown out, so. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Like I said, as long as you just get that inch of error and spread, shooting consistent shot groups, you'll hit your target. And plus that dot is fucking small. So, just to recap, <sighs> showed you how to zero rifle you just got to make sure you know your minute of angle on the optic so this optic was uh, one click four quarter inch at 100 yards and the math works out to one sixteenth of an inch at 25 yards and once you adjust make your adjustments it will get you on paper if i shoot this at 100 yards and then uh, we'll just walk it in from there uh, with the optic and then the BZO will be good. This BZO should stay true as long as I don't move the optic and just keep consistent side alignment, sight picture, um, and, as long, and as well as the, uh, the scope shot, which falls into sight picture, side alignment. So um, I feel fully confident that uh, I am going to kill the birds in one fucking shot. One shot, one kill, and it's gonna be an easy day. I'll give them one more day to fucking get the shit out of my house. If they don't pay me rent by um, close of business tomorrow, uh, they're going to die. So, um, yeah, that's that. It's your boy signing off. Peace.